Hello, in this video we will discuss about the fetal circulatory system and adult circulatory system. We will just understand the differentiation and what is the difference between the adult circulatory system and the fetal circulatory system. So in this way, first of all, we should need to understand about the adult uh, individual which that contains circulatory system. So what is circulatory system? Circulatory system is important for oxygen, carbon dioxide exchange from the tissue, uh, uh, nutrient transport, immunology, as well as acid-base balance, and excretion of toxin in our body, homeostasis in our body, physiology. For example, the water balance and the acid-base balance. And there is a lot of things which that is involved for the circulatory system. That is why the circulatory system are present in all animals throughout the mammals as well as the bird. And even every animal contains circulatory system, the advanced animal. So let's begin to understand the adult individual and how it's possible the circula circulation of blood. So in this way, it contains a lung and heart. This heart is basically pump the blood. So in this way, let's begin to understand from here. So this is, I am drawing the uh, heart structure and systemic circulation as well as the pulmonary circulation. So this is the heart, which that is contain a pulmonary vein and pulmonary artery, as well as superior vena cava and inferior vena cava. So this is a aorta also present and left and right atrium and ventricle. So the inferior and superior vena cava, which that is collect the deoxygenated blood, which that is after the systemic circulation. So go into the right atrium to right ventricle and ultimately through a pulmonary wall, the pulmonary circulation through a pulmonary artery, which that contain deoxygenated blood, and it moves toward the lungs, and after the breathing, the deoxygenated blood, the carbon dioxide exhale, and oxygen will be inhaled, will move toward the heart, and that is why it's known as the pulmonary vein, which that is used for the draining blood into the heart. So here, let's begin to understand from the lungs left and right lungs so in this way here is the pulmonary vein which that collect the oxygenated blood from the uh, lung toward the heart through a uh, left atrium to left ventricle to move into the aor uh, aortic valve toward the aortic arch and descending aorta for the systemic circulation throughout the body the peripheral circulation so this is I am drawing the tissue for exchange of gases, exchange of their uh, toxins and there is a lot of things but we are not going to understand with detail. So this is the pulmonary circulation and the tissue is the systemic circulation. So anyhow let's begin to understand the fetal circulatory system that is very complex as compared to the uh, normal the circulatory system uh, in the uh, adult. So this is the placenta which that's contain oxygenated and deoxygenated blood vessel and placenta will uh, when the oxygenated blood in the mother which that will move toward the fetus and that is umbilical cord which that's contain artery and vein umbilical artery and umbilical and vein and this connect via a uh, you can understand via a connect the ductus venosis this ductus venosis which that travel the blood toward the heart as well as toward the liver. So the liver uh, uh, can get the oxygen uh, first. So the shunt uh, basically uh, shunt oxygenated blood from the placenta away from the semi-functional liver toward the heart. So let's begin to understand with detail. I am drawing the bigger picture for understanding the this is just uh, for sure to understand that is the location of the uh, fetus which that's contain a different uh, heart as compared to the adult. But in case of the complete gestational period, the heart uh, will be changed which that will be equal to the adult heart. And that is why the uh, basically is going to uh, the basically after the birth it will again repair 
uh, that things which that we will discuss now so the basically the fetal circulation is uh, come from the mother a placenta and the uh, fetus can't breathe and uh, so that is why the mother will provide the oxygen and carbon dioxide absorb so let's begin to understand in the fetus the type of blood can be three type oxygenated blood uh, oxygenated oxygen poor blood and mixed blood mix mean the half 50% um, oxygen while the 50% carbon dioxide while the oxygenated blood contain a uh, 95 percent oxygen while the carbon dioxide five percent and the deoxygenated blood contain a uh, 75 percent carbon dioxide uh, uh, altogether so here i am draw uh, draw the basically the structure of the uh, fetal circulatory system which that contain a uh, uh, kidney a lung liver and heart and blood vessels the vein and artery so here you can see this is I am drawing here so this is the umbilical cord umbilical cord contain a vein and artery is known as the umbilical vein and umbilical artery so in this way here you can see this is the artery which that is a collector oxygenated blood through umbilical cord move toward the fetus so in this way here you can see the liver is the basically uh, 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 toward the liver the circulatory system so the blood arise via umbilical uh, uh, umbilical cord and in this way the basically you can understand in this way here is the uh, liver which that is basically um, uh, uh, blood will move toward the liver after blood move toward the liver and in this way the ductus venosis shunts oxygenated blood from the placenta away from the semi-functional liver toward the heart after this the ductus venosis the second is the blood arrives via umbilical cord umbilical vein sorry and that will move toward the second step is the ductus venosis here so the ductus venosis after the circulation in the uh, poor uh, uh, blood from the placenta away from the semi-functional liver toward the heart so in this way here is i am drawing the circle red color is showing that which that is the ductus venosis shunts oxygenated blood from the placenta away from the semi-functional liver toward the heart so after this it will move toward the heart after the circulation from the liver and liver also circulate back the deoxygenated blood into the uh, umbilical vein toward the mother circulation here so anyhow let's begin to understand what happen when go into the heart in the fetus so after this here is the step one when go the inferior vena cava which that is uh, the blood move toward the uh, right atrium as well as here you can see the right atrium contain as uh, you know the oxygenated blood while in the case of adult individual which that is ox deoxygenated blood connect, connect, collect after the birth it will be occur so here you can see this is the basically the foramen ovale this foramen ovale will directly transfuse the blood through a vessel like structure move toward the uh, left atrium from the right atrium so in this way the blood will be mixed and this mixed blood basically contain 50 percent oxygen and 50 percent carbon dioxide and anyhow here is the superior vena cava which that is collect the blood after the collect the, this is the oxygenated poor blood this oxygenated poor blood is basically 50 percent oxygenated and 50 50 percent deoxygenated so it basically is the oxygenated poor blood not a uh, mixed blood but oxygenated poor blood mean less oxygen for example the uh, 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 mostly less oxygen 50% oxygen while you can understand but the carbon dioxide is more 
so in this way here is the foramen ovale which that is basically transfuse the blood you can understand i am just uh, giving the percentage for understanding i don't know about the percentage of the deoxygenated oxygenated blood but you can learn from uh, another video so here you can see this is the movement of the blood will blood will move also toward from the atrium to the uh, basically the uh, aorta move into the aorta through our ductus arteriosus and ductus arteriosus is basically not present in the uh, adult so this is the ductus arteriosus which that is allowed to blood move into the aorta through aortic arch it will move and circulate throughout the body uh, upper body while the descending aorta will function differently so anyhow it in this way you can understand that is basically after the uh, superior vena cava will collect the deoxygenated blood toward the again into the uh, into the uh, right atrium so this is the lungs so lung circulation also occur through a uh, foramen ovale toward as well as move to the ventricle and after the ventricle move toward the pulmonary wall this pulmonary a uh, pulmonary artery which that is collect the uh, blood containing mixed blood basically will move toward the lung so this is the pulmonary circulation will be occur but remember the lungs is non functional because the fetus is not used lung for breathing so that is why the lungs alveoli close the blood vessel close so the pressure of the lungs will be increased in blood pressure increase will lead to decrease the blood flow and in this way just the nourishment of the uh, lung cell only so the uh, pneumatocyte so in this way here you can see this is the uh, movement after the oxygen uh, providing the oxygen of to the lungs for the nourishment of the lung cell and in this way move toward the uh, pulmonary vein and this pulmonary vein contain a, a mixed blood not a oxygenated blood because fetus is unable to breathe so the lungs uh, alveoli close the blood pressure more in lungs and will create will create the pressure to move blood in ductus arteriosus so remember again i am uh, explaining about the ductus arteriosus which that is interconnected via a aorta and in this way the blood will mix due to the uh, foramen ovale is also connect via a uh, left uh, atrium to the right atrium and in this way the blood will be mix and after this mixing the blood in this way here is the pulmonary vein to uh, atrium to ventricle to move into the ascending and descending aorta and this descending aorta which that's contain kidneys in this way the kidney is also here non functional still and that is why the nephron contain uh, uh, this is a urinary unit nephron contain a uh, afferent arteriole will be closed and this is a vasoconstriction will lead to increase the blood pressure as well as uh, it is not uh, the vasoconstriction will lead to no filtration and it is the basically late phase so here after this uh, the complete circulation the deoxygenated blood completely will move toward the umbilical cord through a uh, umbilical vein Uh, so in this way the umbilical um, vein which that is basically used and in this way the umbilical cord is supporting here so i hope you make sense about this fetal circulatory system and the adult circulatory system differentiation thanks for watching bye